Hello and welcome to Elgin Community College Welding Department. My name is David Reich and I will be your instructor for this course for the next 16 weeks. A little background about myself. I've been here for 20 years now teaching welding, uh, previous program coordinator. I'm from the Elgin area, uh, born and raised, and I also am a graduate of Elgin Community College's welding department. So going forward the next 16 weeks I want to make sure that everybody understands basic ground rules of the program what I expect from you and what you should expect from the from the class so attendance number one absolutely important to be here on time every day show up ready to go the instruction you're gonna get in this program in the class is very very crucial to your success leaving in the next 16 weeks we want to make sure you get the information the time under your helmet to become a proficient welder. So please try to keep absences to a minimum. If you are not feeling well, if you have a fever, you're under the weather for any reason, do not come in. Uh, we have to make sure we're, we're, we're keeping social distance and we're not you know, spreading any, any sicknesses. So please, if you're not feeling well, to stay home. But if you're, you're feeling well, try to be here every class period. Behavior, obviously we're working in a dangerous environment. So we want to make sure that we are acting like adults and acting like professionals in our trade. So no goofing around in the shop, no trying to, to burn anyone with, with hot metal, no trying to mess around with anyone's machine while they're working. Those are number one no-nos and it will get you thrown out of class. Absolutely cru crucial that we, that we respect this environment. It is a very dangerous environment if not treated properly. So please, please, uh, be on your best behavior in the shop and, and try, to, try to work safe. Proper attire. Now, as many of you know, we are working in a welding shop where there's uh, you know, high temperature, there's liquid metal, there's um, things that can hurt us. So proper attire for a welding shop. You're going to want all natural clothing, a, a pair of jeans with no frayed edges, a cotton, preferably 100% cotton t-shirt, cotton polo uh, is going to be your safest clothing to wear, and all leather work boot. Let me repeat that, an all leather work boot, not a leather shoe. We need a boot, it's a little higher so your jeans can cover over that, that, that top of the boot so the slag and spatter does not drop down and burn your, burn your feet. So in order to come in the shop, you will have to have a leather work boot on at all times. Um, your personal protective equipment, you are responsible for your own safety glasses on at all times once you come out in the shop. You want to make sure that you have your helmet every day, a skull cap or something to protect your hair, your welding uh, jacket, gloves, and all the personal protective equipment you're going to need for the shop, and your mask now. We have to wear masks while we're in here. Um, if you're fogging up in your welding booth and you're underneath your helmet, you can pull your mask down while you're welding. But when you leave the station, you will have to make sure that your mask is on out in the common area. Your tools, every single day you will have to bring your tools. And what do I mean by tools? Your pliers, your chipping hammers, your brushes, your stainless steel brush, your steel brush, your, um, uh, your strikers, all your tools that will be covered in the syllabus to make sure that you can work in the, work in the shop every day with the proper, proper equipment. Very important. At the end of the day, your, sh your shop space, your booth is gonna be a mess, please. Make sure you do your cleanup at the end of the day. So before you leave the welding, welding shop, you will have to make sure you come and find me. I will inspect your station, make sure your, all your equipment's you know, shut down, to make sure your gas is shut down, you have all your, your tooling back in your possession, and make sure the station looks like you found it in good, good working order. So, um, so please make sure to do your part keeping the shop clean. Very, very, very important. So, uh, going forward, we want to make sure we have a safe um, experience in the shop. So let's, you know, again, let's all work together to, to practice safe behavior in the shop and let's make sure we have a good semester and um, thank you for being here.